interrupted horizontal mattress suture is excellent for wounds that are under tension. Now, the needle enters at point A, passes through the tissues to exit at point B. We then reinsert needle at point C, passing needle through the tissues again to exit at point D. The suture at A and D is then tied together, and this will pull the wound together as shown here. Now let's look at this on the simulator. So this is a needle entering a tissue at point A. Note how the needle is curving through the tissues and following the curve on the needle itself. This causes a minimum amount of tissue damage. This is exiting at point B here. And then it goes reversed. re-enters the tissue at point C. And finally to exit at point D. Suture is now tied at this point. And you'll be able to see how the horizontal mattress causes the wound edges to evert up. Now you've got to watch for the sutures. You can actually apply quite a lot of force. If you apply too much force, you will cause tissue necrosis. Now let's look at this from a more expanded point of view. This will show you what the surgeon's hands are doing. Again, note how the wrist is rotating to allow the suture to the needle to curve through the tissues. And again here, there's almost a full supination to sorry, pronation to supination of the hand. And again, that's a manoeuvre to reverse needle. And goes past back through the tissues. Uh, notes how we've tried to keep the suture from being entangled by always placing it in a ergonomic position. At this point, you can tie a surgical knot. Note that the hands are crossing over so that the knots lie square. So let's recap what we've looked at here. So suture enters at A and exits at B, passes back in to the tissue at C before exiting at D. A and D are then tied together and this forms a horizontal mattress suture.